In the previous video, we looked at the frequency table and created the chart from it. it looks like we have a kind of start off kind of on the high side, get to the highest point, then go down and down. Now we're going to be looking at the histogram side of it. We're going to be first using um, our add-ins and Megastat to do this analysis, frequency distributions, and quantitative. So add-ins, Megastat, frequency distributions, quantitative. And this little fit box will come up. Our input range is our data with the label included. Our interval width, as we defined it down here, was 4. And our lowest boundary, looking at our low, is 4. Okay. There are custom intervals depending on what the data says or what's going on and other options, but this is the primary primarily what we want to look at. So we push OK. And it's going to give us fairly similar to what we had before. Ours included the 20. The Megastat put it in its own category, but basically high, the highest point, lower, and then the lowest value possible. So not unlike the one that we created in Excel. What it adds to it, though, is the frequency distribution table. In particular, this little box right here, which is the cumulative frequency and percentage. So basically what it is, is it's adding information as it goes down. So down here, yeah, this is the frequency for each one. So 3, 4, 2, 0, 1. 3, 4, 2, and 1. With a cumulative, it's 3. And 3 plus 4 equals 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 0 is 9. 1 is 10. And the percentage goes the same way. 30, 70, 90, 90, 100. So it's basically adding as it goes along. Okay, so that's how you do a histogram for via Megastat. Now let's take a look at a histogram using Excel. Going to the data, our data analysis, which is on the far right hand corner here, and push histogram. It should be kind of on here. It's in alphabetical order. All right. My input range has already been entered. I have labels highlights, put the labels in. I'm going to put the output range just off to the side here. So I'm going to define that, but oh, whoops. Highlight the data. Make sure you put the little output range here. And I don't want the cumulative percentage. So I'm going to push OK. All right. So you can see that it has a quite a bit different uh, distribution based on what we see in this chart versus this one. Low, low, high, low. Basically, four to about nine and a one quarter or one third, and then fourteen and a two thirds, and then higher. So. 4 in the 2 to 9 range, 9 to 14 range, there's 2, 14, and then up to 14. It's just a very different result than what we were seeing with the Megastat or with the Excel that we used it. All of them painted a slightly different picture of the data. And this is where some of the ethical issues come in with graphing data. Every graph creates different outputs, and as a result, depending on how data is manipulated, how it's presented, can change the results. For example, with this one we can say, well, these two are our highest, whereas over here looks like the 14 range is the highest, which is not correct compared to this one. So be careful on how things are presented and be aware that they can be manipulated. All right. So that is the histograms um, and the frequency tables. The next video will be looking at measures of centrality.